So here's the larger um, Ozark malt knife that I was working with. And I showed you that. And here's the smaller ones. <clears throat> and it works good with the with the fair rod. There's the smaller ones. This this kind of looks like an Eldris, which I have over there. Looks kind of just like it almost. But uh, it's not, you know, but it's sharp. They're all sharp. It's good. It's good with the fair rod, too. And then there's a the medium size. Not as good with the fair rod on this one. I don't know why. But uh, <clears throat> you can work on that. They all have a coating on there. I'm not sure what steel it is. But it works. So these are the knives. And uh, <clears throat> just wanted to show you. You know, it's a cutting tool. People go to the dollar store and they try different things. And well, I went to Wally World and uh, tried these out, and they're good. And uh, can't beat them for the money. So that's the way it goes. <coughs> okay, I got the soak spoon here. I just want to show you. This knife costs like five bucks. I got three knives for fifteen dollars. It's an Ozark uh, Trail. Kmart got it yesterday. Um, took it out out of the box. Cut paper. Um, really good. Just trying it out. So, so I cut in there already with this, and it cuts nice. I think they tried to emulate. A more knife and it's definitely not that because it kind of looks like that and has the you know case very similar but uh yeah and it works pretty good you know but uh i don't know if it's you know like a skeleton um tying it or tang in there i'm not sure but i just wanted to show you um yeah it still cuts pretty good and it works with a ferro rod too. This particular one, there's three sizes. The small one, good. This one's good. The other one, a little tougher with the ferro rod, but does work. But uh, not bad. Just letting you know. I try them out. I have a junky piece of wood here, but uh, we'll fix it up. But I just wanted to show you. There you go, man. Um, I've tried mossy oak knives there, and I don't like the steel. It doesn't work at all, but I've always had good with the Ozark Trail for the money. You can't beat it. But uh, I have all kinds of good knives and carving knives for doing things, but I like to try it out. So, But I uh, just want to let you know. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to continue with this. So anyways, uh, using that uh, inexpensive Ozark knife here, this is the sheath that comes with it. Clicks in there. Um, use the little push button here to get it out. And uh, but from the last section I showed you, you know, basically this uh, shaped it out. And I'm going to touch it up more. Obviously, it's, it's just a rough thing, and I have to scoop it out. But uh, in a pinch, it works, man. Extra tool, back up. I wouldn't uh, depend on it for your life, but uh, for the money, you can't beat it. Now, I do have the full tang ones, which I like very much, and that's the only reason I get another full tang one, because I wanted to try these. These are a little different. They have one that looks like the Eldris, and they have another smaller one. But, uh, yeah, it's Queen Esmo Fair Rod. I just want to show you this. I try it out, you know, instead of taking it out of the box, say, oh, here's the knife, you know, I, I do spoons and things. This wood is uh, seasoned oak, but still a little wet, a little bit. So, you know, it's not all that easy. In a pinch, you know, but uh, so you take care. So anyways, I just wanted to show you those knives and uh, it's the elk skin sheath. I made this for me and he gave me a knife too it's pretty good it makes all kinds of stuff got a nice hatchet and uh elk handled saw pretty cool but anyways what am i doing i'm getting ready for small winter camp out um regular camp out 
my club and then uh, like a mountain man camp out first week weekend in March and uh, getting ready for that there's gonna be a lot of new people there and I'm gonna provide shelter for them and uh, so I have to use my bigger tent so I have to tweak that a little bit I haven't used it in a while so but uh, and I'm constantly making spoons and using some uh, cutting board butter pretty good and uh, always doing something here and uh, just got some blueberries at all these two bucks for a pound and uh, from Peru off season so I put sugar on them and lemon on them and mix them up put them in a bag freeze them so keep your eyes open for stuff like that because uh, I, I use that stuff every day in my yogurt and stuff so different fruit but uh, yeah so I just want to show you those knives it's in uh, take care thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you man